So you're new to diving and you're getting on that boat. And if you're anything like me, you would be thinking, please don't let me embarrass myself in front of all these experienced divers. Now, whether you're experienced or not is a whole nother question, but I always assumed they were. So today I wanna to share with you 10 embarrassing mistakes new scuba divers make, me included. I think I did all of these, except maybe not the last one, but who knows, selective memory, you know? Now don't feel bad if you have made them because it's very common. I wanna highlight them for you though so you can avoid any mortifying moments in your future. They are easily remedied and hopefully the prompts I give you will prevent you from making these errors on your next dives. Now the first embarrassing mistake new scuba divers make is not releasing the tank from the bungee cord so you're sitting down you're putting on your bc you're all set up so you go to stand up from the bench and you're right back down again because you forgot to release the tank from the bungee cord so before you sit down before you put on that bc turn around release that tank and you'll be good to go now the next embarrassing mistake new scuba divers make is walking around the boat in fins now if you're walking forward in fins you know you, you have to lift up your legs really high and you'll look like a clown walking around the boat usually if you're going back to a dive platform you go back to the dive platform and then put your fins on there but if for whatever reason you do have to walk to the platform or somewhere on the boat in your fins at least walk sideways or backwards you will look less like pozo the clown now the next embarrassing mistake new scuba divers make is straining on the surface even in calm water and this can happen before or after a dive so you're on the surface you're either waiting to get down or you just came up from your safety stop and you find yourself with no air in your bc so you're flailing around you're straining to stay up and at the same time you're wasting your air inflate that bc that's what it's there for. Push that inflator button, BC will fill up and you can relax and stop flailing on the surface. And the next embarrassing mistake new scuba divers make is getting the side that the regulators and the inflator hose and gauges go. But this is an easy one to correct and remember. When you are setting up, just remember, regulators on the right, regulators on the right, R and R, regulators right. Now the next embarrassing mistake new scuba divers make is forgetting to turn on their air. You're there, you're on the surface, you're going down, it take maybe one breath and nothing. So what happened? You forgot to turn on your air. So always do a pre-dive check with you and your buddy and make sure that air is turned on. And as you are doing this check, Breathe into your regulator a couple times and keep on looking at your pressure gauge as you're breathing in. If that pressure gauge stays steady, you're good to go. But if that needle is bouncing up and down or goes down and stays down, you have to fix that problem. Your air is not all the way on or your air is totally off. So always remember before you dive into that water, check your air. And another embarrassing scuba mistake new divers make is forgetting to switch from your snorkel to your regulator. So you're sitting on the surface and you're waiting for the signal for the dive master to descend. And as you're waiting, you have your snorkel in your mouth because you want to conserve your air. Why waste any of that precious air on the surface? So okay, the dive master gets in, everyone's ready. He goes down, you start going down, and what do you get? A mouthful of water. And I have done this and I don't want you to do it. So the next time you descend, Think what is in my mouth, make sure it's the regulator and not your snorkel. Now, if you're getting any value from this video, please like or subscribe so I can keep on making some videos for you to help you improve your diving on your very next dive. And thanks in advance. Now on to the next embarrassing mistake new scuba divers make. And this one is related to the previous one with your snorkel. So you're on the surface, you're nice and relaxed, either waiting for people to come into the water or you're just waiting for the dive boat to come pick you up. So you have your snorkel in your mouth and you just wanna relax so you just lay back on your back. Your head goes back and what also goes back with your head the snorkel and next thing you know you're up there coughing and spitting and you have water in your mouth so if you go to lay back before or after your next dive make sure it's the regular in your mouth not your snorkel or if it's calm enough you don't need either but just remember to put that regulator in before you descend and one way to remember this is relaxing equals regulator r equals r relaxing regulator and another embarrassing scuba dive mistake new divers make is putting that wetsuit on backwards it's hard enough to get the wetsuit on once you don't want to have to take it off and put it back on again now remember the vast majority of wetsuits the zipper goes in the back if you're suiting up and it's really easy just remember wetsuit doesn't mean easy wetsuits are are always a little bit of struggle so zipper in the back if it's easy it's probably wrong now the next mistake new scuba divers make is not securing that tank 
tight enough. Because you're going down, you feel a tug on your regulator and you're thinking, what the heck is that? Your tank could be coming loose if you have not securely strapped it in. So next time you're setting up that gear, make sure you pull those straps tight and that tank is in there nice and securely. You can also test it out a little bit by pulling up your BCD from the handle and make sure that the tank is not slipping as you're pulling it up. And those straps can also get a little looser as they're wet. So doubly make sure it's secure if that's your first dive and the straps aren't wet, make sure it's in there securely. And another embarrassing mistake new scuba divers make is that the tank is in like 180 degrees wrong. Like the BCD is on the wrong side of the tank. And one way to remember the correct way is think of the O-ring and then think of your round head. So the round O-ring and the round head are next to each other. Now the usual configuration when I'm setting up is I will have the O-ring facing away from me. So then when I put my BCD on, I know the jacket part of the BCD goes next to that O-ring. And then the straps are next to me on this side of the tank because that round O-ring is gonna be right next to where that round head is going to be. So O and O and you'll be good to go. Now, if you want my complete ebook that will rip that newbie label off you before your next dive, my ebook that has tips on air consumption, buoyancy control, ear equalization, dive travel, dive safety, and much more. Just go to newdivertips.com. That's newdivertips.com and improve your diving on your very next dive. In the meantime, happy and safe diving.